Injuries on stage are really tough because you're out and all these people are there and they don't really see that what happens, you know, and you're there and you just kind of got to deal with it. So you kind of pretend like nothing's going on. Well, on the Monsters of Rock tour uh, with Van Halen, 1986, 87, 88, 88, somewhere around there, we built this huge set and we had to have three of them. It's a long story, so I won't go into that. So we had to have three sets to set up in different cities at different times because it took two or three days to set up the set. It was so big. So we didn't get to rehearse on it. So it had these metal stairs. You know, metal. You know, way up to the thing. And I hadn't performed on them. So the first song, Summer Nights, you know, Summer Nights in my radio. I'm singing the first chorus. I'm start stepping backwards. I stumbled onto the stairs and hit my tailbone right in the corner of one of the metal things. And it actually cut through my leather pants. And I, I was numb. I, I just, I fell down on the stairs and I got back up and I kept singing, but I felt really weird. And I was, I, I was numb, completely numb. It's like, so I reached back, bloody hand. I'm going, oh my God. And I felt the bump back there as big as a freaking orange. In between the next two ta songs, Eddie was playing a little long intro, and I ran over to my side of the stage, and I said to my guy, what's going on? He's going, dude, you don't want to know. And he goes, oh my God. He starts looking at it and saying this, right? And I can't see it. I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to faint. He goes, sit in this bucket of ice. He shoves me in this bucket of ice. Blah, blah, blah. I make it through the show. I get to the hospital, and I had a fractured tailbone, vertebrae completely knocked out of whack and had to have stitches across it, it actually cut, cut, it was, it was brutal. So I had to, it's the worst injury I've ever had because it was the first show of a 30 city tour, stadium tour, huge uh, pressure to do it. Uh, never missed one show, couldn't sing the whole damn time because I was flying back and forth to my doctor. That's how I met Sting. And he was at my doctor's office too. <laughs> and so it was just horrendous until the last show in Denver, Colorado, I couldn't hit the high note in Eagles Fly because I got a sinus infection, an ear infection from flying and throat. I got run down, I got sick. I was on antibiotics. Every day I had to have a doctor show up in my room in the morning and give me a shot, a steroid shot in the spot so I could stand up straight. And it was brutal, horrible. You don't ever want that to happen to you.